First, we're going to start off by putting this into EMI mode, pushing mode, EMI measurement, and now we're ready to test in EMI. Before we uh, add the files, let's set our frequencies up to where we're going to be observing, which in this case, we're going to add a LISN first, which ranges from 100 kilohertz to 108 megahertz. We're going to go to uh, measure and we're going to do a quick scan just to get a baseline of where the trace is at this time. So when we add in our correction values we will be able to verify that they, they took. So let's stop that scan and now let's go to amplitude and we go down to the bottom where the corrections is and you can tell that all corrections are off at this time. And let's go to correction one. And let's go to save load. And that will take us to the file explorer. And in this case, we're going to load the Lizen. We can open and load. And you will see that the frequencies and amplitudes have been added in all the way from 100 kilohertz down to 108 megahertz. You will see that these numbers are positive. So when you're putting in a correction value that is a loss, you will be, for this software, putting it in as a positive value. If you're putting in a correction uh, that is a gain, you will be putting that as a negative value. Another thing you will see is a representation of what the correction file is giving you here. Uh, you see that there's a lot of loss at the lower frequencies and hardly any loss, almost zero, at the higher frequencies. And now we are going to do another scan. Oh, first we're going to turn the correction on. Then we'll back it out and we have to apply the correction. Now the correction is turned on. It has been applied. We can do a scan. And watch the lower frequencies where the loss is a lot higher and you will see a pretty good shift. As we start, you see it shifting up for a loss. That's exactly what you expect. So let's stop that. And now we're going to add in a value for gain. In this case, we're going to be using a file that uh, for our the EMC Shop's PA2500M preamp. So we're going to Corrections 2. We might as well turn that on so we don't forget. Then load it all up. We're going to choose the PA correction file. And by the way, for any peripherals such as antennas, cables, PAs that you order with this spectrum analyzer, uh, at your request, we can provide the service to put in these correction files for you so that you don't have to do the work yourself. Now we're going to load that PA file up into it. And again, you can see a representation of the, of the gain. And this particular preamp uh, has a gain of about negative 31 dB across the board. And to test that it got added in, we just push measure and do a start. And everything shifts down, which you would expect when you add a gain value. Now for limits, we will stop this scan. And let's set up our frequency limits to start at 30 megahertz. And we're going to stop at 1 gigahertz. And that's because today I'm going to show you how to load the FCC Part 15B limit into this device. Again, we push Amplitude. Go to Corrections. Ah, then we push Limit. <laughs> Go to turn your limit on. And you'll see Limit 1 Setup turns on. Let's set that limit up by loading the standard limit. And in this case, you'll be able to see three folders with preloaded limits in it. 
and we're going to choose the FCC. Go to FCC Part 15 Radiator Class B at 3 meters and load that file in. And you'll see the limit automatically gets put in there. And we want to put a 6 dB margin below that limit. So we push the margin button to turn it on. And you could either use the dial to lower that line down to wherever you'd like it. Or you use the keypad, push negative 6 dB. And you can see the margin line is 6 dB below the limit line. 